Hello, welcome to Christianity and Lifestyle Channel, making Christ known to everyone. Today's topic for reflection is Christlikeness, following Jesus' example of humility. Our key test is taken from John chapter 13 verse 15, I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Just before Jesus was arrested and died, he bent down and washed the feet of his disciples. Peter was adamant to have the Lord wash his feet but Jesus told him that unless I wash you, you have no part with me, John chapter 13 verse 8. Why did Jesus wash the feet of his disciples? In ancient Israel, washing of feet, because of the untarred roads, was the duty of the least servant in the house. Thus, Jesus demonstrated to his disciples that to be his follower demands a servant attitude towards one another. It is not about being bullied or belittled, but the willingness to serve one another in love. We have been called to be like Christ and Jesus himself stated that, I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you, John chapter 13 verse 15. In Christ, service to one another is done in love. Christian leaders are expected to have servant leadership. Christians are expected to have the same attitude of humility that Christ demonstrated. Jesus said, you call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you, John chapter 13 verse 1 3 to 1 5. Christlikeness includes demonstrating the attitude of humility. Paul writing to the Philippian church stated that in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage, rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death even death on a cross. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 8 Jesus' humility did not go unacknowledged. Paul continued to exalt the Philippian church that because of the humility demonstrated by Jesus, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 11 The way to get to the top is by going down. May we humble ourselves as we aim to be like Christ. Never pray that God should humble you. You can find out from Nebuchadnezzar. We have to humble ourselves before we will be lifted up by the Lord. To know more about humility, I recommend our book on humility to you.